Hey everyone, it's Mojax. Not in the lab today, they've let me out again to go and examine the trend of portable scratching. This is my Newmark PT01 USB turntable. It's a lightweight plastic deck which can be run off batteries and is perfect for crate digging in dingy record shops. But in recent years, turntablists around the world have noticed that the small plastic platter means that decks like this can give remarkably high torque for a belt drive, and they've started attaching faders and other stuff to them in order to construct their own sub $200 QFO equivalent. Now, I'm not much of a turntablist, so I decided to jump in the car and drive up to Edinburgh in Scotland to meet up with Richie Roughtone. He's been UK DMC champion multiple times, IDA World Technical Champ, and the DMC World Supremacy Champ. So the guy knows his cuts, and he kindly escorted me up to Arthur's seat on a freezing cold Scottish day to show me how he gets down on a little plastic turntable. <laughs> Richie uses the Vestax Handytrax turntable. Now, since the demise of Vestax, these are a bit harder to get hold of new. Physically, it's a little bit bigger, which may be a plus or a negative depending on your perspective, but it's really much the same as the new Mark in terms of features and performance. <laughs> Of course, to cut, you're going to need a fader. This was the first one, the Frisk fader from Japan. It's very simple, a fader in a plastic case with an input and an output. The cut is really sharp, so it performs really well, but there's no aux socket, so hooking up to have actual beats playing while you're cutting is a bit of a pain. You need splitters and so on. So the Raiden fader has come along from the US and has stormed the market. Again, it's a simple fader in a plastic case, but this one has the all-important aux socket to hook up your phone so you can play beats as well. Being such a basic fader, you'll need your deoxit from time to time, and they are working on a version with an inner fader inside, but right now for $60, the regular Raiden fader is an absolute steal. It comes with all the cables and stuff you need to get going straight away. Both the faders are attached to your deck with good old Velcro. It's not a permanent solution, but it's solid enough, as Richie is demonstrating here. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. The output from your fader has to feed into an external speaker of some sort, and this is my recommendation, the Mini Rig speaker from the UK. It's Bluetooth capable, but has high and low level input jack sockets, and goes incredibly loud for such a small device. The battery is rechargeable and easily lasted for a full afternoon of cuts on the mountain. It's not the cheapest option out there, but in terms of performance, this thing is absolutely fantastic. A recent addition to this accessory market is the fader crib from 1200 plates. It's a metal box which houses the Raiden fader inside. It reduces the portability but allows you to have the fader in a position more like a traditional deck and mixer setup. The fader can be easily removed if you're heading outdoors with your deck, but this is great for cutting at home if you just want to set up in your living room or something like that. It's awesome. <laughs> For a while it was quite hard to get slip mats and 7 inch battle records for this kind of use, but that's all changing. There are great slip mats out there from Stokio in Japan, the Raiden Fader crew have their own and the Mighty Thud Rumble have small versions of their classic butter rugs. As far as vinyl goes, Richie's Turntable Training Wax label has a Practice Your Cuts record on white vinyl, which he's using throughout this video. Thud Rumble have the Baby Super Seal, this is the glow in the dark version. Stokio have a great one, Raiden Fader have their Triad Breaks, and there's a great one from Cut and Paste Records as well. These are often limited, so you have to act fast to get them. I slept on the one from the Texas Scratch League, for example, and I missed it. The final piece of the puzzle is having loopers to scratch over, for which your phone is perfect. My favourite is the Table Beats app on iOS. It's got a ton of free content, and it's what we've used in this video. So there you go, a little roundup of the tools available to help you get your portable scratch on. Big thanks to Richie Roughtone for cutting with frozen fingers for so long. I'll be doing more videos with him soon, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching, 
I'll see you soon. Oh.